dear students, at present we are crossing through a very tough time. The whole world is facing a challenge that is COVID-19. And you know the only way to fight against this challenge is to stay home. We are in a stage of lockdown for nearly one and a half month and naturally we are detached from our regular classroom. This online class of science has been arranged for your benefit so that you can have a brief knowledge about some important topics of physics. Here, this video is made for the students of class 6 and I am going to discuss about force which is one very important physical quantity. Students, let us think of some examples like pushing a cart, pulling an object, opening a door, hitting a ball with a bat or stretching a rubber band. All are some actions that results in change in the motion of an object or change in speed or change in shape. So, the physical quantity that brings about all these changes is nothing but force. So students, first we should know what is force. Force is something which changes or tends to change the state of rest or motion of a body. It can also change the shape or size of a body or the speed or direction of motion of the body. Force is a physical quantity whose SI unit is Newton. This SI unit is named after Sir Isaac Newton. Its CGS unit is Dyne. We will learn here what are the effects of force? Means on applying force what changes can take place? So effects of force are firstly force can produce motion. You can find in this figure that a man is going to hit a ball. The ball is in a state of rest and when the man will hit the ball the ball will come in the state of motion. So we can say that force can produce motion. The second effect is force can stop motion. Children, when a fielder in a cricket match holds the moving ball, the moving ball comes into the state of rest. So by the application of the force by the fielder, the moving ball comes into the state of rest. So we can say that force can stop motion. The third effect we can say that force can change speed of motion. In a football match, when a moving ball is hit by a player, the speed of the ball changes. So we can say that force can change speed of motion. The fourth comes, force can change the direction of motion. When a batsman in a cricket match hits the moving ball which was coming from one direction, suddenly on hitting the ball, the direction of the motion of the ball changes. So we can say that force can change the direction of motion. Another effect of force is, force can change the shape and size of an object. Students, you can see in this figure that the man is applying some force on the dough and the shape of the dough is changing. So we can say that force can change the shape and size of an object. So children, 
we can say that the effects of force are number one force can produce motion force can stop motion force can change the speed of motion force can change the direction of motion force can change the shape and size of an object now we should learn what are the types of force basically force is of two types one is contact force the other is non contact force now what is contact force the forces in which the two interacting bodies are in physical contact with each other are called contact forces the contact between the bodies can also be with the help of connectors like stick a piece of rope etc there are various kinds of contact forces we will discuss here the different types of contact forces one by one the first is applied force applied force is the force applied to an object to change its state of rest or motion by a person or an animal or another object for example we can think if you push a chair across the room then there is an applied force acting on the chair so this is an example of applied force the next type of contact force is normal force normal force is the support force exerted on a body that is in contact with another stable body for example if a glass of water is kept on a table then the table exerts an upward force on the glass to support its weight the next type of contact force is tension tension is the force which is exerted by a string or rope when it is stretched the stretched string exerts force in the direction opposite to the applied force for example when we pull a cart with a rope this can be an example of tension next type comes muscular force the force exerted by the muscles of our body is called muscular force for example animals exert muscular force to do work like carrying a load the next type of contact force is collision force the contact force which comes into play when two bodies collide with each other is called collision force for example when two cars collide with each other the next type of contact force is friction this is one very important topic or a very important kind of contact force what is friction the force that opposes the relative motion of two bodies is called friction it slows down things by acting in the direction opposite to the motion of the moving body friction is a contact force as it arises due to contact between the surfaces which so friction is a contact force as it arises due to contact between the surfaces for example when you hit a ball it gradually slows down and finally comes to rest due to friction the next type of contact force is mechanical force the force produced by a machine is called mechanical force for example the engine of a vehicle runs with the help of fuel and moves the vehicle this is an example of mechanical force this all were about contact forces now we will discuss about non contact force the forces which do not require a physical contact between the two interacting bodies 
and act at a distance are called non-contact forces. So, physical contact is not required in case of non-contact forces. It has few types. Let us discuss about its different types. First comes magnetic force. The force exerted by a magnet is called magnetic force. A magnet can exert force on another magnet and on metals like iron, nickel, cobalt, etc. The interaction between two magnets can either be attractive or repulsive depending upon the poles of the magnet. The next type of non-contact force is electrostatic force. The force exerted by a charged body on another charged or uncharged body is known as electrostatic force. Charges can also attract or repel each other just like magnets. For example, when we rub a comb on dry hair, electric charge develops on the surface of the comb. Next, when we bring this comb near tiny pieces of paper, they get attracted towards it. This attraction is due to the electrostatic force exerted by the charged comb on the pieces of paper, even though the two of them are not in direct contact with each other. The next type of non-contact force is gravitational force. The attractive pull of the earth is an example of gravitational force or gravity. So we can say that all bodies that possess mass exert this force. Hence gravitational force can be defined as the force with which any two masses or objects pull each other is nothing but gravitational force. So students, we have come to the end of today's topic and I hope you all have understood what force is. Here is a worksheet for you related to our today's topic. So students, thank you, stay home and stay safe.